So please welcome this week's special guest, Paul. <laughs> right, uh, Bradley, what is Paul to you? Um, uh, this is Paul, my school friend, who loved mashed potato so much that I used to steal it off teachers' plates for him. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Josie, how do you know Paul? This is Paul, and he taught me the carrot technique for giving up smoking. <laughs> Finally, Lee, your relationship to Paul? This is my milkman, Paul. I came down one morning to find he'd left 88 pints of milk <laughs> on my door. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we are. Uh, Bradley's Mr Potato Head, Josie's Carrot Counselor, or Lee's Mixed Up Milkman. David, where'd you start? Mash all right, mashed potato. Why did you see it as your role to obtain mashed potato for Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, he loved mashed potato so much, and I was his friend, and he wasn't brave enough. How did you steal it without the teachers noticing? <laughs> I stole it uh, the, when the teachers weren't looking. <laughs> how many teachers did you steal mashed potato from, and on how many separate occasions? Describe the scale and nature of the scam. <laughs> Five years I've had this. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what happened was the um, teachers' dinners had mashed potato on them. Did, 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 were the pupils allowed no mashed potato? <laughs> was mashed potato the luxury <laughs> item available only to teachers? No, not necessarily. Um, not necessarily? No, no not necessarily. On Sundays? <laughs> it, uh, yes. Some days we would have mashed potato. I, I had a very privileged upbringing where mashed potato was available to teachers and pupils alike. <laughs> Not a day goes by when I don't give thanks for that. <laughs> Some days we had no mashed potato. And, um... Uh, Paul. Paul! Yeah. <laughs> I never get a newsreader. <laughs> <laughs> we would have lunch in the dining area. Mm. The teachers that were looking after us in that dining area would then swap over and have their lunch later than us. Right. The plates of dinner that were going to the other teachers had mash on them. And <laughs> somewhere else in the school, other than the dining room, we'd take the mash. Right. <laughs> Just sum up for us how you got the mashed potato off the teacher's plate and onto Paul's plate. I, hi well, I hijacked the canteen trolley thing. <laughs> On a trolley, so it's an industrial quantity of mash you're moving around here, yeah? Yeah? Is that right? <laughs> okay. Would you like to move on with your inquiries? Josie, what is the carrot method? Paul is my plumber. Yeah. And is I've known him for about ten years now. I do like a cheeky ciggy every now and then. About two months ago, he came and did a, a tap in my utility room, and I said, Paul, when I gave him a cup of tea, you know, you can have a fag in this house. And he says, I don't do it anymore, but I'll show you what I do do. And he had a packet of ciggies uh -huh. with a little plastic bag thing and little sticks of carrots, and he nibbled them. So oh, I so did you it. Don't smoke the carrots. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just quite simply, every time you fancy a cigarette, just yes, nibble on that, a carrot. But for some reason, because I've tried before, for some reason just having the packet with you. So you put them in the cigarette yes, pack. So you still have that's to buy. What he did. That was his little technique. I was trying to give up heroin once, and I carried around a little tub of uh, hummus. <laughs> <laughs> I found that worked. <laughs> right. What about Lee's Lee. story? Yes. So when was this? It was about six weeks ago. Eighty-eight bottles, glass bottles. Glass bottles of milk, yes. Mm. And how were they arranged on the, on the doorstep? In the shape of a cow. What does that matter? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to picture the scene. Where were they? Where were they? I've opened the door, there's 88 bottles of milk. Where were they? Where were they? On the doorstep, around the doorstep. Not just on Very big doorstep. Well, you've got to let me finish. <laughs> on the doorstep, around the doorstep, around the side, up the, uh, up the bit that I have on the side of my house. And the colour of the foil on the milk bottles? The colour of the foil? Yeah. Blue. Blue? Which means what? It means that it's full fat. 
I don't think anybody drank full fat milk. Is this the bit you least believe? The, the bit that you doubt about this story is I had 88 bottles of milk on my doorstep. That's fine, that's champion. Full fat? <laughs> Are you bombers? How many had you ordered? I'd ordered, well, I thought I'd ordered eight. You thought you'd ordered? That's a lot. Eight, eight pints of full fat milk. Well, that's it. <laughs> Why did you want eight pints of full fat milk? Because I, I had friends staying over. Who like oh. milkshakes? <laughs> I ordered it online, I made a mistake, I meant to put 88 bottles and I hit it and I put 88 in the box. That's right. what happened. That and, the... and Paul didn't question that at all. Nobody questioned that you wanted 88 bottles of milk. Yeah, because what happened is I put 88, I said double clicked and then his face just came up on the screen and went, Are you sure, Governor? <laughs> in the admin, he just looks at the list and delivers well, the milk. Fair enough. Okay. When does Paul deliver? Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What time? Ooh, it's quite early, Hugh. So, how, how many bottles did you say? 88, 88 on this particular 88. occasion. And he did it silently on the doorstep? You didn't wake up at all? <laughs> yeah, no big clanking going on? <laughs> got a very back stop. and forth and back and forth to the milk float? <laughs> no? It was in, he's, got, he's, oh. a, he's a professional. Yeah. We call him the Ninja Milkman. OK. <laughs> talk, talk us through the event. You open the front door, what happens? I say 88 <laughs> bottles of milk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what happened then? I went, what happened? I went, love! <laughs> Not to him, obviously, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, darling... Because I'll say love, that'd be far too working-class and northern. <laughs> darling, heavens above, the milkman's left 88 bottles of milk again. <laughs> what an absolute blackguard! <laughs> How long did it take you to get through this supply? Until you got rid of them all, and what did we, you do We then? didn't get through them all before they'd gone off. Uh, we gave some to the cat. Uh, so I'm lucky because I've got a lion. Um... <laughs> OK, we need an answer. So, uh, David's team, is Paul Bradley's Mr Potato Head, Josie's Carrot Counselor, or Lee's Mixed Up Milkman? I don't understand why you'd have full fat in this day and age. No, no. <laughs> Think of I, your heart, I, flower. I get semi-skimmed. I get semi-skimmed. <laughs> yeah, I get semi-skimmed. I think everyone yeah, gets semi-skimmed. Everybody semi gets semi-skimmed. Semi-skimmed, <laughs> yes. Mm. I think it's Bradley. <laughs> it was Bradley. No, yeah. I think you might be it right. It was so yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was so bad. bad. It's mm. got to be right. Bradley's technique to basically collapse in front of us meant yeah. we didn't really get any information no. either way no, out of him. No, true, He's just... True. And he has, he has a whiff of a thief about him as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, so, Paul, <laughs> would you please reveal your true identity? Well, I'm Paul, and uh, Bradley used to steal the fighters with <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.